Hello, I'm Chris Sloan, principal of East Aranacoit Middle, and as you know, there's been a lot of conversation about the reopening of school. This video hopes to explain to you how we have approached uh, and will continue to approach COVID in our school community as outlined by the Department of Health. First, all staff and students, visitors, anyone that comes to the building is requested to wear a mask. That mask must be on unless eating. The mask is removed from a meal a six foot distance is maintained. Wearing the mask is a Board of Education policy that is strictly followed in our building. So please help us with that. As you walk in our building, your temperature will be taken by our infrared thermometer. If it is 100 degrees or more, you will be asked to go through it again. If it is 100 degrees or less, you will proceed on to wherever your destination. If your temperature remains above 100, you will be asked to speak to the nurse and she will um, talk to you about our process. As you walk through our building, you will see the hallways are clearly marked for one-way traffic. Yellow tape is on the floors telling you to stay to the right or the left. There are two up stairwells and two down stairwells, again, clearly marked. This is to prevent any social distancing issues. There are reminders to stay six feet away as you pass in the hall and red marks for a visual reminder. In our classrooms, the furniture is spaced so students currently sit six feet apart and when we reopen, enough furniture has been placed or added back in the classrooms that they will be comfortably sitting three feet apart. Some of our classrooms have desks, some of our classrooms have tables, but again, they've all been measured and fit the social distancing requirements. Um, as you know, we also have a wonderful custodian staff. Our building is completely cleaned and they are on a regular schedule following um, room by room by room every day uh, to maintain that kind of cleanliness. We encourage our staff to open their windows and take kids outside. We have, will have a tent at the end of May for an outside classroom. When we reopen physical education and music groups will move from a 12 foot social distancing to a six foot, again, we have taken into account and there's tape on the floor to show them visually where they will stand. Our meals, breakfast is a pre-packaged meal. And so they pick it up, go to class, they remove their mask, eat, and then they get right back into class with their mask on. They maintain a six feet social distancing. Lunch is currently in our classrooms, and once we reopen, we will have lunch in two spots, our classrooms and in the cafeteria, so that we are able to maintain the six-foot social distancing. As the weather improves, our, we hope our students in PE are outside, our classrooms, that our teachers will take kids outside. We have some lawn chairs that they can sit in that we have purchased. And again, we will have a 40 by 40 tent in hopes to be able to have the National Honor Society induction and also uh, concerts. We are proud of the instruction that continues each day. We are proud that our, we have been able to have Spirit Week, clubs continue to meet, athletes are back active. And at this time of year, we are both planning for year-end fun um, in hopes that we can get together uh, by June. We are also welcoming our sixth graders. So plans are going on at the middle school and we continue to march on um, and cannot wait until we are fully opened. If you should have any questions about the building um, has done to prevent any kind of COVID spread, how we are becoming fully open, please contact us at 339-1407 or via my email, which is chris underscore sloan at eastiron.monroe.edu. The school is looking forward to a full reopening a full school community. Thank you for listening and for your continued support during this very unusual school year. Go Lancers!